Hello, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Now, I've actually installed quite a number of mods. I think I've, I've installed about four or five. You might actually be able to have a sneak peek at the two that I have installed. If not, I'll show you later after we take out this fiend hideout. Yeah, they're they're actually really cool though. Well, two of them are, anyways. I, I'm not I'm not sure about the other two because the other two pretty much I think they're redesigns to Freeside and New, uh, the New Vegas Strip, which we don't have access to yet. So only time will tell if those actually turn out to be any good. Hopefully, I can surprise you with the other two mods though. Right, let's hope these fiends aren't too hard. Oh my god, game's really starting to chug. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Holy crap. I need some medics. Um, where's medics? Do I not have any? Okay, somehow all my med X has just completely disappeared. Have I accidentally like... Oh no, it's cut all oh, right. So yeah, a sneak peek to one of my... the new mods, which is the... I think it was the... Uh, was it um, the cam mod, which is chems and... Uh, chems alcohol something. I don't know what the M stands for, but it pretty much adds a bunch of new of new chems and new al uh, types of alcohol too, which is actually really cool. Even though in real life I don't have any interest in both. Okay, apparently I've become addicted to stim packs. I need to change that, I mean that's just being addicted to stim packs, I mean even if it is sort of realistic in a way. It's just too impractical. I just don't like that. You know, having a healing item like a vital healing item be addictive. Yeah, I'm probably going to change that. There's a... I can't believe we're, s we're still fighting them. How many are there? Oh my god, this could be a bit too hard. Yeah, Veronica's gone down now. Holy crap, this guy's got a sheesh kebab. Oh, we're overwhelmed. The damage from this Winchester is goodness. No, not the Winchester, Remington. Oh, goodness. Let's hope there's not much more to this hideout. Yeah, if it gets much larger than this then I'm, I'm afraid we'll have to fall back, because this is just insane. Oh, I'm so inaccurate with shotguns at the moment. I literally have to walk right up to their face for me to actually do anything. Oh god. Oh my god, I, why did they make stim packs addictive? I mean, it's just too impractical for anyone to actually want to use, to use that. Shit. Right. Apparently this is the last guy, which is good. 
Yeah, that's the last one. Holy crap, that's tough. I wonder how these guys turned into ash piles. I mean, I'm pretty sure Ed Wait, was Edie un unconscious? If he was unconscious, then... I have no idea why they turned into ash piles. This is not an energy weapon, so... That was kind of weird. Yeah, let's see if we can configure that mod. Yeah, turn these two off. Um... So it shouldn't really... Yeah, it shouldn't... It shouldn't really make stim packs addictive. I mean, that's literally the only problem I have with this. Oh god. That is actually quite annoying. I've probably missed something really obvious here. Pretty sure I turned it off though, so... Yeah, as you can see it adds loads of different types of cigarette brands as well. Not just alcohol. I wonder what kind of effect that actually has on me. Um, go to general, nope. Where does it say? Ah, here it is. No idea. My oh my, have we got a lot of loot. A 12.7mm submachine gun. Ooh. That actually does a hell of a lot of damage. Look at that. 41 damage per bullet. That's... That is insane. That's more than my revolver. The ammo for it is really rare though, so I guess that sort of balances it out. Look, and look this is, yeah, another one of those unique alcoholic drinks added in from, from that mod. Some new chems as well, which I have no idea what these are. I mean, yeah, so even, even though I'm not really interested in drinks and whatnot in real life, I, I think it just gives you more interesting things to look at. Which is always good. Especially in Fallout, you know, in Vanilla Fallout, especially, I just find that looting does get a bit tedious because everything just seems to be the same. A metal helmet actually looks kind of neat. Reinforced metal armor? I've never seen that before, so might as well just take it. Lucifer Sheesh Kebab M. Oh my. I might actually give that to Veronica because she does specialise in. No, actually, she specialises in unarmed. But surely that would mean that she'll be pretty decent with melee weapons too. Is this the right way? Oh no, I just found some random stuff in here. Yeah, if you're also wondering why I may be picking up some random garbage, it's because I have downloaded a mod which sort of completely changes how the Novak apartment looks. 
it's just a complete redesign which actually looks really nice. I'll show you that when I get back. Yeah, so if you see me pick up any sort of random miscellaneous items, it's because I don't know, I might I might use them to decorate my uh, the house a little bit. Maybe off camera. To be honest, I'll probably I'll probably end up just giving up because I don't have the patience for something like that. Yeah, we're getting a lot of loot here, which is really nice. I love I love new stuff too. I mean, look at these armors. Actually, gloves. I think we might actually be able to use these. These are really useful. Look, plus one to agility and en endurance. Operate hat. Actually, I'll probably have a look at how these. L I just wanted to see what these look like. Whoops. So, gloves first. Oh god, the pit boy thing's really gonna annoy me here. So yeah, just normal black gloves, as you can see here. Nothing too special, but we'll keep them on anyways. Metal armor we've already seen. Vault outcast. This actually looks. This actually looks all right. I don't know if no, it's not really effective for protection though. That's probably just a brown variant. Look at them. Vietnamese marine outfit. That's yeah, really nice. I won't be using them though. So just throw these all back. Actually, I'll have a look at that operator hat as well. Whoops. Oh, it's just like a black cap. And it looks like our cowboy hat needs some repairing. Oh, that really that really sucks. Yeah, we'll just have to wait. We'll just have to wear the operator's hat right now. feeling like I'm missing something but I've been going round and round in circles most of the time. Pack of black deaths, look, some new cigarettes. It just makes the whole thing more exciting, the whole process of looting. Bean bags, loads of new chems, look, I mean look at that. Bramin Wellington. Is that new as well? I can't tell. I don't think I remember seeing them that before. Some ammo here. I mean, I think there's another room up there. Actually, let's quick save in case we bump into any more fiends. Yeah, we can go that way. Let's hope there's not more of them over there. 
nothing's showing up in the compass, so we should be fine. Yeah, and this is all there is to it, which is actually quite good. Because I don't think we could have handled any more of them. And as you can see here, this is the second mod I've installed. It actually adds a whole bunch of new books to the wasteland. It's over a hundred easily, I think. I mean, look at these. Even though we can't read them like we can in Skyrim, it's just more to look at, really. That's all I really expected. Not to mention, you know, you can't, you can't expect someone to input uh, to pretty much import loads of. You know, you can't expect someone to pretty much type up every single book like that and put it in each, you know, hundreds of different types of books. That's just, that's just unreasonable. Oh my, look at that, we're just overwhelmed with all this new stuff. Look at this. Vodka half bottle. I mean, I've, I've not even heard of any of those types of alcohol before. Yeah, so far I can I can really recommend it. If you're getting... I mean, especially if you're interested in drinks and stuff in real life, you would love this. Just more stuff to collect. There's a new quest. Oh no, it's a quest item. Roach bringing the pain. No, it's not a data log. Should be over here. It used the icon for the hollow tape, but we can't actually listen to it, which is kind of weird. I think we're meant to turn that into Sergeant Arcus back in Good Springs, who is the world of pain. Um, NPC. No, I think this is it. We're gonna head back outside now. Actually, we miss anything here? Yeah, there's still some stuff to loot here. Look at that. So each and everything that's been added in actually has its own unique model. It's just amazing. Probably turn that off. Fiend's Terminal, uh, there's probably nothing that all that useful here, but I'll just do it for the sake of it. Sensed. So probably... Sealed? Yep. That one was really obvious. If I didn't get that, I'm just, I would, I'm literally just... I would literally have the brain of a four-year-old if I couldn't even get that. So, poking around the Repcon lobby. Is that the Repcon headquarters, which is right next to here? Yeah, so it looks like these guys are just scavengers too. So I think bandits would be more fitting. Brake fluid. I don't think does it add that? War dog. Look. Just showing off another new type of alcohol. Big booze. I don't know, some of them just look like they take the original model and just sort of retexture it with the brand logo. Which, I don't know, It's I guess it's alright, but they could have put a little bit more effort if that really is the case. It could be I'm completely wrong though. Bram and Wellington. 
Ah, so you can actually have cooked food. So food is actually, they actually made food useful. And that, I don't know if, I, I don't know if, if the mod did that, but if it did then, as you can see, cooked food has no downside to it at all, so no radiation poisoning, nothing. I guess for hardcore players, that would come in really handy. Actually, I think I can repair all this stuff. Yeah, the thing is about the jury rigging mod is you actually have to kind of be use, um, be a bit more careful when you're repairing stuff. You can actually repair something you don't want to throw away. Plasma pistol. Yeah, laser pistols aren't worth nearly as much as plasma weapons. A sheesh kebab with a combat knife. Pretty cool. Right, yeah, let's head back outside after we loot all of this. This is actually taking me surprisingly long. There's just a bit. There's just so much to loot here, it's just insane. Have I missed any of these? I've even I was about to miss loot. They had so much. I have to check every single ash pile now, just in case. Oh wow. Oh, where's Edie? To throw some of my stuff away. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? I, I actually think that if you do give a dress to her, it sort of completes a hidden type of mini quest. It's kind of cool. Cause she always goes on about wanting to wear a dress. I think she actually gives you a new perk if you do. But we don't have one at the moment, so. Yeah, something else to keep in mind. Wow, I've, I've literally taken down like 20 guys in this one area. Oh wow. Cartons of cigarettes. This is actually a whole big multi-pack of cigarettes. That's really cool. Better drink. I mean, this may this mod may actually be considered OP, the cam mod, because it adds so much. You know, it adds so much new loot that it has a much higher resale value than the vanilla uh, the vanilla variants. So you very much just keep, just resell everything. Holy crap, FN, FNC. Yeah, so everything pretty much sells for a much higher value. And you'll be rich in pretty much no time. Imagine, imagine if you could loot that painting, how cool would that be? Okay, I'm running really slow for some reason. Anything else here? Nope. Actually, I think this is about time. I'm running out of time for the video, so I'll just quickly head back and show you my new Novak apartment. It's actually really, really nice. And as usual, I'll put a link in the description to all of the mods I've installed. Um, so yeah, outside it looks exactly the same as normal, but when you head inside, 
Look at that. I mean, come on. What they've done is they've also made it like twice as large, as you can see here. They've added like a lot of space on the right hand side. And this just looks amazing. I mean, look, there's so much, you know, there's neon signs. There's these little Christmas lights, well, that's what they look like. A vending machine here? I don't actually know what this does. There's a slot of a Sierra Madre symbol. Looks like it has something to do with dead money. Oh, you can actually... Oh, you can actually buy stuff with Sierra, Sierra Madre chips. Which I actually don't know how to get. It's probably in dead money. Which we haven't started yet, but look at that. It's a vending machine that sort of just pre makes food in th uh, out of thin air. A jukebox here as well, which we can actually use. This bar, so this is why I downloaded the cam mod. It's because all those different types of alcohol we've, we've been picking up, we can actually place them here manually and it would look pretty stunning, I think. I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm up for it though. That's that's a lot of effort. And here you have like a wee mini save inside this dresser and a desk. Some pretty cool posters as well. I mean, this looks like like a backstage room in a really upper class, you know, cabaret club or something like that. The toilet's really new as well, which is nice. Yeah, this is what an apartment should be like. And look at this, this is like the armory. You even have your own workbench, reloading bench. armor lockers here. I placed all my... there's actually quite a pain in the ass to haul all my stuff because pretty much um, what this, this just replaces the whole of your Novak, your old Novak apartment so I had to take everything out of my safe you know I had everything, my weapons, my armor other miscellaneous stuff, I had to take it all out go back outside Novak, re you know, install this mod and then just have to unload everything yeah, I don't actually know what this switch does. I turned it off and then turned it on. It just sort of switches these lights on, which I don't know what it does, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. And this terminal here, which is actually really OP. I mean, this thing. You can actually you can actually buy every... Like, I'm pretty sure it's every gun in the game. Or it could just be like everything from... The gunrunner shop. I mean, look at all this stuff. They have like every single weapon on stock here. I'm, I'm not even sure. Look at this. Half of these I haven't even seen before. I'm not gonna buy anything here though, because that's just a bit too overpowered for my liking. I prefer to find things myself. I mean, look at this. All the armors. No, not all of them. But a lot, anyways. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, so even if you, if you usually aren't a fan of my playthroughs, you don't like my commentary. Well, there's light switches here as well. At, at least you have something to take away in the form of you know new mods you might be interested in installing. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.